Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today we are going to start a 24 hour reading vlog because I'm finally going to be reading an Emily Henry book. I chose this one because this seems to be like the better choice between, I don't even know what other, I can't remember what other looks called. Um, Beach Read, there we go. People said that they like this one better than Beach Read, so this is the one I'm going to start reading. I'm going to update you for every, about every 50 pages for the next 24 hours. We'll see if I can get it read. Maybe I can get it done before 24 hours. Who knows? But yeah, this is the reading vlog. You're going to follow me around while I'm reading this, and we'll see how it goes. By the way, I really don't know much about going into this book. I've just heard that this is, oh, well, I've just heard that this is people's favorite of Beach Read. And I've heard that this is a friends to lovers romance. That's really all I know. I'm assuming they meet people on vacation. Hence, that's what the book says. But yeah. Subscribe. Like this video. Comment. All the good stuff. And then we're going to start reading. Hello. Here to check in with people we meet on vacation. I am at the 54 page mark. And really, there's not really much to check in on besides Poppy. And Alex haven't spoken for two years because of something that happened. And before that something happened, we don't know what it is yet, but before that something happened, they went on a vacation with each other every summer because she was a, like a travel blogger and he went along with. They met in college and then he became a teacher and then she was a travel blogger. And now she works for a magazine called r and R. It's uh, I can't remember what it stands for. Relax, relax and renovation or something like that. But she writes travel columns about different vacation spots. So that's where I'm at right now. And her and Alex started speaking again because she has to, she's like, her best friend asked her when the happiest time of her life was and she said that it was with Alex two years ago. So she started thinking about him and then she texted him and now they're talking again. So that happened. And we do get the present and then we do get the past as well. Um, and it's based in this summer that they're in. So this book it really deals with a lot. Like the, the plot line is dealing with this summer seasons a lot. And I guess that's because people always go on vacation during the summer. So that's, that's where I'm at. Hello. I'm tired. So it is 9.15 and I just got to 100 and what is it? The 105 mark in people we made on vacation. I'm really enjoying this book. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I do so far. So this is a uh, Friends to Lovers close proximity romance. I already knew that, but I didn't know that going into it. I didn't know anything about it. And these two people haven't seen each other in two years, so they go to Palm Springs for Alex's brother's wedding. And they're having to stay in this like apartment. And they thought there was going to be two beds, but there's only one. There is a pull-out bed and like a chair type thing, but it doesn't, doesn't look very comfortable. Um, and then, like I said before, we have some alternating chapters that go back and forth between like 10 years ago when they, well, 12 years ago when they met, 10 years ago, and shows the progression of their friendship. And you can always kind of tell that they've always had like a small thing for each other, but they've never actually really pursued it because they've always thought that they weren't good enough, like they weren't each other's type, basically, and Poppy is like super eccentric, and she's very quirky, and she's just kind of spontaneous, whereas Alex is very reserved, and he's like super into rules, super into structure, and Poppy is just like total opposite of that, so I like their dynamic, I like their friendship, I've heard people say that they wish that they would have just communicated and y'all know me romance i need some communication 
and if they would just communicate everything would be okay but anyways that's where I'm at in this book I like it I'm probably uh, I'm, I might check in with you again before I go to bed but I doubt it so I'll probably just check in with you tomorrow tomorrow is going to be a busy day we're having to do virtual learning tomorrow when I'm at home because you know well I don't know if you know well, my head's cut off there we go. but my husband tested positive for the coronavirus or for COVID and I don't know whatever whatever you want to call it and so since Charles is not vaccinated he's not old enough to be vaccinated yet he and I are at home until the 31st that's when we can go back to school and work so it shall be interesting this week with online learning and <laughs> doing it from home so we'll see how much I get read tomorrow I'll try to check in with you before I go to bed tonight but I don't think it's gonna happen but I am committed with checking in with you every 50 pages so I will not read over the pages that I'm supposed to tonight if I feel like reading some more, I'll just start another book. <laughs> but that is my check-in. And I'll see you. I'll see you. May. I just got to the 151 page mark of this book. And it's still really cute. And I really don't have much else to say besides it's really cute. And I like their dynamic. Poppy and Alex I like their dynamic. And we're like getting to see the progression of how they really feel about each other from the past and everything and you can tell that they actually had a thing for each other but it was just never the right time for them to actually you know go along with it and I think I know why they didn't talk for two years I haven't said it yet but I am you know theorizing so I think I might read a little bit more it's like mm, it's 10:35, so I typically don't go to bed till about 11 on work nights. So we'll see if I make it. All right, y'all. So I'm here for a chicken. With this, I got to page 201 last night, I believe, before I went to bed. Yeah, page 201, and. Again, we're just continuing to follow their vacations throughout their friendship. Alex and Poppy. And we have met Poppy's family. And we've learned some things about both of their pasts that have made them who they are today. And it was really sweet because Poppy was kind of embarrassed about her family. But Alex accepts, you know accepts her family for who they are and she was just always worried about that so we've also met some of their past relationship relationships people that they've had relationships with in the past and it's interesting to see how their friendship has developed over time so I'm liking it still I am also on my planning period for virtual learning so I'm gonna try to catch up with some reading as well it is uh, right now it's around 10 45 so I have a couple more hours before I'm supposed to be able to finish this book so we'll see if I can get it done in those hours in the 24 hour time limit I doubt I will but we'll see so <laughs>
reach my goal to read this book in 24 hours but we're still gonna continue with this video because I'm still reading this book I just got to the 250 page mark or 252 page mark I should say and all I can say is finally like it took them this long I mean they're not together yet but they're like on their way to being together you know and all the pining and the you can feel the tension and you can you know that they like each other but there's something holding them back from being together and you know all that it's a really cute book though I like it I still like the going back and forth between present day and past and you can like really see the build up for their relationship I like all that but I just want it to happen <laughs> like I want it to happen it's over like it's over the halfway mark and they still haven't happened yet and I'm like come on like just communicate and do it like get together <sighs> but it's cute it's a cute book it's cute <laughs> and I'm gonna finish it tonight today was a really long day so I think I'm just gonna like hang out on the couch for the rest of the day but I'm still going to check in with you every 50 pages of this book. So I'll check in with you again at the 306 mark. 306. And then after 306, that's how much we got. This is, this is the 306. This is the next 50. And then this is the rest of it. Because there's a little over like 50 something pages left so that's all I got left it's not that bad it's really not that bad hello it is now 6 35 at night and I am finally at the last like 50 something pages of this book again like I said in the last clip finally they finally got over themselves and they finally just like you know went with their feelings and I'm so freaking happy that they did the way that it happened was really cute and it was very charming and I really like this book and I'm glad that I listened to people and read this book first before Beach Read but I do think that I will pick up Beach Read after this but first I gotta get through the last 50 pages and you know the last 50 pages can either make or break a book as of right now this is a pretty high rating for me but we'll have to see with the last 50 pages what's gonna happen I think I'll finish this pretty quickly because it's a pretty quick book to get through. And it's like, yeah, like 54 pages, 55 pages, something like that. Y'all know I can't do math that all that well. But anyways, just wanted to check in and let you know that I am almost done with this book. Hey everyone, so it is Tuesday around like 10 50 I'm on my planning period right now so I figured I'd just end this vlog because I finished this last night I ended up giving it four stars I really liked this book I like Alex and Poppy together as a couple I like them as friends as well I really wish that they would have communicated a lot better they're supposed to be best friends they're supposed to be able to communicate but they waited 12 years to like actually tell each other that they loved each other like in a relationship way and it was just like come on just do it already you know it was very frustrating the reader can see that they really love each other the reader can tell that they have a really good relationship the really reader can tell that they just like belong together but they believe that they're so different that they would never work so that's like one of the main things and it always seems like they're dating other people well, I mean, they do date other people, but you know what I mean? Like, they should be together, but instead they date other people. It's just one of those books. So I gave it four stars. This is like a really cute, grown-up romance. It's very low angst, but there is a lot of pining in this book. And it's basically just about two people that love each other and that took forever to get together. So... Yes, I do like Emily Henry's writing style. I think her characters are super funny. Poppy is very quirky and just, 
outlandish and you know crazy while Alex is very reserved he's grumpy sometimes he's goofy around Poppy but around other people he's very sarcastic and dry which I really liked his character too but when they get together it's like fireworks you know so I really enjoyed this book I will be checking out other Emily Henry books let me know in the comments below which one you think that I would enjoy the most I really like this one I'm glad I started out with this one but yeah let me know in the comments if you wanted to see me do this again with another author or Emily Henry or whatever. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the like button down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.